The Museum of Fine Arts in Boston is one of the largest museums in the United States. It contains more than 450,000 works of art, which makes it one of the most comprehensive and eclectic collections in the U.S. Riley just became the newest member of the MFA. He beat out other applicants, filling the first puppy position of its kind. We're not aware of any program like this in any museum yet. I, um, I'm not sure how intensive the interview process was, but he was handpicked. So you're not going to be seeing Riley. His job is a little more behind the scenes, but he's already pretty popular. And um, we're overwhelmed by the popularity. Surrounded by paparazzi on his first day, he may launch his own social media page. On the job training will take a year. For now, he's just working on sitting, fetching, and being adorable. Welcome to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. We're here to guide you around this great museum. If you're a good detective, you'll discover some great secrets about the art treasures here. Fine Arts, more popularly known as the MFA. The MFA was first established in Copley Square in 1876, which was at that time known as Museum Square because of this new institute. The museum stayed there until an unwelcome neighbor moved in. That intrusion was a 10-story building that museum trustees worried would catch on fire and spread to the MFA, burning their works of art. So, in 1909, the MFA moved to its current location on Huntington Ave. It has one of the finest collections in the world with over 450,000 pieces of art. Let's go inside, shall we?